I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to wanted to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. No, oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese, and if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick, so you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. 